Hi, welcome to physics lesson. Today we will go to chapter 4.3, force due to magnetic fields. In chapter 4.1, you have studied the structure of magnet compass. Chapter 4.2, you have studied the magnetic field produced by uh, electric uh, current carrying wire. Now, we have to study magnetic force on a current carrying conductor. Uh, for this case, we should have a current passing through the wire. Okay, first, and then we should have magnetic field. Okay, in the presence of both magnetic field and current, we can have magnetic force on the rod. Okay, now you see here the current, the current coming from the positive terminal of the power supply, and then you will pass through the rod. Okay, and then um, in this case, we also have magnetic field. Uh, this is south pole. Here, it will be north pole. So, it, for the observer eye here, observer eye here to observe the, uh, to observe the rod. To observe the rod, okay? We can draw like this. Okay, current, which is out of paper, okay? It will be a dot. A magnetic field, like you see, it should be from north to south. So, magnetic field will be pointing upward. Okay, now so today we will have to study the magnetic force. We have to find out the direction of magnetic force and also the magnitude. So maybe we go to observe the video now about the video, about the experiment about this experiment. Set up the Fleming's apparatus. Switch on the power supply and watch for another motion of the rider. Repeat by turning the madness around. Repeat by reversing the current. Well, you see, this is amazing, right? And um, we can find the magnetic force by rule. So, this rule is called Fermi's left hand rule. Fermi's left hand rule. Okay. Now, so you have chapter four point. You have a right hand grip rule, uh, in chapter four point two, and now you have a Fermi's left hand rule in chapter four point three. Okay. So let's look at the detail of Fleming's left hand rule. Uh, now Fleming's left hand rule, so you have your, your left hand and um, hold the thumb, hold the thumb and the first two finger at right angles. Okay, so you see um, right angle, right angle. Okay, the thumb will tell you the direction of magnetic force. F, okay, and the first finger uh, points in the same direction as the magnetic field. And then uh, the second finger is uh, the same direction as the current. So in the presence of B and I with magnetic force, we can use our left hand to find out the direction of magnetic force. Here we will say um, FBI, FBI, okay. You may label your finger now, FBI. Now, so, uh, now, so maybe you, now we have a practice for this. Mm, you see, uh, there will be a wire, current carrying conductor, right? So the current would pass through in this direction. In this direction, current. Okay. So when we consider this part, the current is in this direction out of paper. If I draw, if I have an observer here, okay, to observe the situation, we can draw the wire and, and then the current will be a dot, okay, because of an um, out of paper. And then now for, for the magnetic field, magnetic field, can you see? North pole here, south pole here. So what is the direction of magnetic field? 
Okay, so you will be pawn to the right hand side. B field. So pawn to the right hand side B field. So now you can use your uh, left hand. FBI. I the second finger pawn to the right. B. Uh, sorry, the second finger current right is out of paper. Current. Out of paper. B field right hand side. So the force is pointing up. Can you do it by yourself? So there will be a magnetic force pointing out. Okay. 中指指住自己，三隻手指撐開，食指係 B feel， 指向右邊，中指係 current 指住自己，所以個力就會向上啦。做唔做到啊，同學 ？FBI。So you can find the magnetic force which is pointing upward. So the wire now would move upwards. Okay. Now this is funny. We can use your our left hand to find the answer. Okay, so maybe we look at example seven. Okay, applying the Fleming's and left hand rule. So we have current. Okay, this direction, current this direction. Okay, and then B field. Do you remember? Across means the B field is into paper. Okay, B field is into paper. So find the magnetic force, left hand. Okay, FBI. I point to the net. Left and um, left lower corner, right. B field into paper. So you can find the force, which is in this direction. Okay, and we have ninety degree here. Any problem for this, FBI? Okay, try by yourself, FBI. Or you can memorize as a DIN T leg. Do you know what I mean? Zhong Zi is DIN, B is T. So the force is going up and down. Okay, any problem? So maybe we go back to the first page here. So what is the direction of magnetic force here? Okay, now try to apply the Fleming's left hand rule by yourself. Okay, like curve and out of paper, B field, points upward. So the magnetic force will be pawn to the net. Any problem for this? So we can see the rock will move to the net. Okay. In this case. And in the experiment, you see, we, we can change the, um, the, timing, the, uh, the, timing, the terminal, right? The output terminal. So we can uh, also reverse the current. Okay. By reversing the uh, terminal output of the, uh, the power supply, and we can also reverse the uh, um, reverse the magnet. Okay, we reverse the position of magnet. So we have different direction of magnetic force in this case. Now, so we go to find the equation about magnetic force. So we have to find about the factors affecting the magnetic force. We will use a device which is called current balance. Current balance can uh, current currents can be used to find the the factors for magnetic force. Now, so in this case, what do you think about the magnetic force here? I think on this wire. Now we have uh, this part is the is under um, this part of wire is under. The influence of magnet, right? Okay. So and now we have current. The current, the blue, okay, current, will pass through the the wire. So we have current here. Okay, and we have B field. What is the direction of B field? Okay, like you see, it's from north to south. So B field here. Okay. So what is the direction of magnetic force? Try to use left hand. Oh, easy. 唔使扭隻手，扭得好辛苦啦，係咪？順住個力就向上啦。So we find the magnetic force is pointing up. Okay. So in this case, what do you think about the movement of the current balance? Okay. Yes, is it will rotate. Okay. 嗱 ，so maybe we can draw the current balance. 
and in that in in this view, uh, the observer observer's eye here, okay, to observe the situation. So now we have the magnetic force pointing up. Okay, so you will provide a torque moment, torque moment. Do you remember the equation about moment? Chapter chapter five, right? In book two, yes, form four. Okay, so the so we we and uh, so you will take in clockwise moment. So, but it can be balanced, as you know. Uh, uh, this part is putting on the electronic balance, so we we can have normal force, normal force, to balance the the wire. Okay, the wire loop. La, and la say this is D one, D two. So we have the equation, but the thought it keep balance. F D one will be equal to F uh, R O D two. Okay, so in this case, we can know the value of R O by the electric balance. Okay, direct measurement for the normal force, and we can use a ruler to measure D one and D two. So finally, we can find out F, magnetic force. So with the measurement of the magnetic force, we can find out the factors. We can change the experiment to find the factors. So, and uh, maybe we look we look at the video now. We will find out how the magnetic force on a current carrying conductor is affected by the current and the length of current inside the magnetic field. Set up a current balance. Adjust the position of the wire until it is balanced. Set the reading of the electronic balance to zero. Switch on the power supply. Vary the current flowing through the wire by changing the resistance of the rheostat. Take the readings of the ammeter and the electronic balance. The reading of the electronic balance gives the magnetic force acting on the current carrying arm. Repeat several times with other current values. Record the results. Plot a graph of the magnetic force F on the wire so against the current the I through the wire. How is F related to I? Now pass a fixed current of 3 amperes through the wire. Measure the length of the slab-shaped magnets. This represents the length of the current inside the magnetic field. Then, take the reading of the electronic balance. Record the results. Add one and two pairs of slab-shaped magnets round the current-carrying arm, in turn, to double and triple the length of the current inside the magnetic field. Record the reading of the electronic balance in each case. Plot a graph of the magnetic force F on wire against the length L of the current inside the magnetic field. How is F related? Okay. We will find out how the magnetic force on a current carrying conductor is affected by the magnetic field strength. Set up a current balance. Adjust the position of the wire until it is balanced. Set the reading of the electronic balance to zero. Connect a flat solenoid in series with a rheostat, an ammeter, and a DC power supply. Place the current carrying arm of the current balance inside the flat solenoid. Pass a fixed current of 3 amperes through the wire of the current balance. Switch on the power supply connecting to the flat solenoid. 
vary the current flowing through the solenoid by changing the resistance of the rheostat. The magnetic field strength is directly proportional to the current flowing through the solenoid. Take the reading of the ammeter connecting to the flat solenoid and the reading of the electronic balance. Record the results. Repeat several times with other current values through the flat solenoid to obtain different sets of data. Then plot a graph of the magnetic force F on the wire against the magnetic field strength B. How is the magnetic force F on the wire related to the magnetic here field you strength will see B? The force is directly proportional to B field. Okay, let's go back to the experiment with some conclusion here. Uh, there are three factors you see. Uh, like in this case, like, uh, we've gone through this uh, pointing upward, the force. Uh, so, three factors. One, current, right? Like, you know, the, the force is due to the presence of B field and current. So, if I increase current, magnetic force will be increased, and magnetic force can be, can be uh, calculated by um, the equation, right? If D1 equal to D2, then F equal to R. Uh, like F is directly proportional to I. This case, very easy. Just vary the direction of, uh, just vary the size of the current. Okay, so we can have this result. And the second part is the length of wire. Originally, we have only one slab shape magnet. Okay, like, so we have this part wire is under the influence of magnetic field. Okay, however, if I use some more slab shape magnet, we can increase the length of wire which is under the influence of the magnetic field. Okay, the length here, right? L. L is now triple compared to the original case. So we can have the result. F is direct, directly proportional to L. Okay, L is length of wire. And the final case, the final case, we, we use this solenoid to make the B field, okay? If current passing through the solenoid, it has, it has magnetic field acting on the wire, okay? On, 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 the, on the wire of the current balance. So, and the result, it, it tells you that F is directly proportional to B. Okay, without the result. Or maybe you can change a stronger magnet. Stronger magnet. Uh, to to see the result. But but uh, we we can only have a um B increase and F increase, but we cannot have proportional um relationship. Okay. Stronger magnet, the more stronger magnet. 即是有些磁石本身裡面的磁,它排列得最整齊的,裡面的磁石粒。係啦,咁就好勁啦,係啦,就係咁啊,即係個磁石嘅大小唔影響個強度嘅,即係有啲細細粒都好強嘅,B-feel,係咪大大粒都可以好弱嘅,okay?嗱,so, so, um, we have these three factors, F proportional to I, proportional to L, and also B-feel, so combine these three relationship, okay, we will have an equation, Okay, that would be F equal to B I L. Okay, this is the result. This force is magnetic force acting on a wire. Chapter four point three. Okay, most important question here. So, um, in order to increase the magnetic force, and uh, I increase, L increase. Okay, which is inside B field. You should know that. And B increase. Three factors. Okay, so we, we, we may have some calculation. And try check point five. You may pause the video. Try check point five. Okay, so um,
Every week, now we check the answer first. Okay, and um, now here in this case, what is the direction of magnetic force? So first of first step to find direction of current, right? Current coming from the positive terminal of the battery. So B second, we have to find the B view. So do you find any magnetic force by using left hand rule? Fermi's left hand rule. Answer is no, no. FBI B should be proportional to I. Okay, so B parallel to I, so no magnetic force. Okay, how about the case B? Okay, the B field and current. Oh, sorry, current start from positive terminal. Okay, so it will be A to B. So, what is the option of magnetic force? FBI, FBI, BI. Okay, so you will be upward. Uh, sorry, you'll be out of paper, right? So the force is our paper, dot. We use dot to represent, okay? Force, out of paper. Okay, question two. Uh, now we have magnetic force. Uh, sorry, now we have magnetic field. We have current. Okay, so we, we need to find the magnetic force. So current here. You can regard this loop as a uh, five parts. Okay. So by left use your Fermi's left frame rule for five times. So the force would be in this direction. Okay. As, uh, as you know, the magnetic field is into paper. Okay, the f five forces acting on the loop will be this. So what do you, what will you choose in this case? Yes, okay, expand. We have this equation, F equal B I L, B I L, okay. Maybe um, la, we can measure the B field now, okay, by using actually we, we have learned the equation for measuring B field in chapter four and two. Uh, B field, the unit will be at T, okay? And and B go to F F equal to B I L O. B can be equal to F over I L O. So test at Tesla can be also equal to uh, Newton per ampere per meter okay okay so try chapter on six now you may check the answer okay if you have any problem please ask me Now we, we can find that if with the presence of current and magnetic field, we can create, we can produce a magnetic force. So this is the working principle for moving coil loudspeaker. A yang sing hei le, jai kam yang chan san sing yum la. Dim gai le, tong kong di di nao son ho bei koi le. Ku yang sing hei le bing ko, eh, yo chi se ga, kam le jo chan san di le. Ku chan san di le le jo ling do ko fai bok mok le, chan dong la. 震動會產生浪在天的 wave 啦,聲音啦 OK So we know how to draw the how to find the direction of magnetic force and calculate the, the size of magnetic force So how about two wires two parallel wires OK this case So what do you think any forces between them Okay, the answer is yes, we have to find the magnetic force. So, look at this case. Uh, uh, we have wire X. Wire X, like you combine the technique of chapter 4.2 and 4.3. Why X, the current is out of paper, is a dot, right? A dot, current of paper. 
So, what, uh, how can, do you know how to draw the magnetic field by y, x? Oh, yes, very easy, right? A dot current. So the B field would be um, circular, okay? And use right hand grip rule for shake wire. So the B field will be um, anti clockwise direction. So in the position of, like this is magnetic field generated by X, in the position of wire Y, at Y, okay? So here. So what is the direction of magnetic force? Yes, okay. So we have to draw a tan tangent, okay? Because of circle, so we have to draw a tangent. Ta a tangent, okay? So B, X. I think on Y will be upward. So we go back to this case. We have magnetic field upward. This magnetic field is created by X. Okay, so this is 4.2, chapter 4.2. And chapter 4.3, like in the presence of current and B field, we have magnetic force. So what is the direction of magnetic force? So second finger out of paper, first finger points up. So magnetic force will be to the net. Okay? Now, it's very difficult, right? We use chapter 4.2 of the power of the power of the power of the power of the power. Add on Y, oh, so Y has the BV going up. You have to use the Fay Lam Ming to hold the force. Put the force on the force. Did you do the two things? Okay, so you can do it more than once, but you can remember the result. It's no problem. Okay, we know, so Y will attract towards X. How about X? How about X? So here, you see, Y out of paper, current out of paper. You will create a anti-clockwise direction B field. Okay, same picture. Okay, but X is in the is in the left of the Y. So, so at this position, what do you think? The magnetic force will be downward, right? Will be downward. Okay. Any problem for this? We have a, a right angle here, okay? So the magnetic field due to, produced at point X due to Y and Y would be downward. Okay, so this is, uh, this, this can be defined by a right angle grip rule. So by using, now we use a um, Fleming's left hand rule. What is the direction of the magnetic force acting on Y, X, density leg, am I? FBI. Okay, so we can find magnetic force will be to the right hand side. So you, you can memorize the results by yourself. If two Y are having the same direction of current, they would attract to each other. Okay, this is important. Actually, for two wires, we have only two cases. How about if they have different direction of current? So we may do it again. Oh, do it again, okay. X and Y. Current out, uh, out paper into paper. So the magnetic field, what is the direction of magnetic field? X, the magnetic field will be upward. Okay, this is BY. Magnetic field created by Y. Okay, on X, upon X. So the magnetic force, you can use left hand rule. So the force is to the left. Okay, and how about B field acting on Y? So you will be. Here, upward B field due to X, okay. So the magnetic force would be to the right. So they would repel. If they have different direction of current, they would repel, okay. And these two forces actually are the action-reaction pair. Force on X by Y and force on Y by X. 
。OK， third law。誒、uh, 嗱 ，we know the direction now, so we can also calculate the value. B field, do you remember the value, the equation of B field? Don't say no. You can check this in 4.2, right? Okay. So B equal to mu log i over 2 pi r. Okay. This is r. And F equal to B I L. We have learned this in the previous part. So F equal to mu log I one I two L over two pi R. So we can calculate the force per L is mu log I one I two over two pi R. Now this is a very important equation, and we can also we we can always see this question, and we will always apply this equation. In the SE, so these two equations are given B, F. So you have to find out force per unit length. Okay, by these two equations. Don't forget. Okay, very important to derive the equation. So we have the equation here. Same direction of current. A check. Different direction of current. Repel, okay. Remember that. So chapter point seven. Okay, try to find out the answer. Calculation. Okay, check the answer. And one more point. Uh, this is a a common DSC question, CE question. If we have V wires, say uh here V wires. Uh, say um, R O S T. Okay, if they have same direction of current, what do you think about the magnetic force, the resultant force acting on R O? Oh, lah. Then you have no chance to calculate. You have no chance to calculate. You have no chance to calculate. Then you have no chance to calculate. 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 係咪？將方向吸啊嘛。So we can find out all the forces actually. So the resultant force acting on R is downward. Okay. So uh, this is a common question. Okay. I uh, give you all the choices. Uh, upward, downward, left, right. So we know the answer is downward. Okay. You, as you see here. As you see here, okay, downward. And also, we can find out other forces by using parallelogram method. Okay. Now we can have these DSCMC questions, and and you can try this. Well, you can finish this very very fast by memorize the result. Okay. Second question, how about this case? So you may pause the video, try to do it by yourself, and then check the answer. Okay. Okay. Answer time. Yes. Okay. The different direction of current, so they would repel. Repel. Here is attract. Okay. I'm asking you about the resultant force acting on R. So the resultant force is pointing up for R. Okay. 喂，其他唔做啦，咁樣斜落去啫，都係好啦。So now today we want to make a motor because we have we have, we can have magnetic force. Okay, motor, motor very important, right? And uh, turning effect on a coil. So we want to study the the force, the torque, and the turning effect. So if I have a current carrying coil like this. So you can see we rotate, right? Now we want to draw. Um, if we have an um, observer eye here, okay, we want to draw the coil, the structure of coil, and show the direction of current and magnetic field and B field. Okay, so this wire, you see, current is out of paper. So current over paper. 
okay and then and the part this one curl one is into paper so curl one into paper okay now we should know how to draw the 3d to, to in uh, from 3d to 2d so b is to the uh, and to the right If you okay, so we can find the magnetic force by applying the Fermi's left hand rule. Okay, so magnetic force upward here, downward here. So the curve will rotate, okay, at the uh, and about the center of um, the coil, about the center of the coil. Here is a y axis, right? Y pi y. Y pi y axis, you rotate here. This axis, okay. Y pi y, you rotate. So we want to find the turning effect, okay. But before this, we have to label the. We have to label the coil. So we want to find the magnetic force. Uh, now we label. Here will be a uh, B. Here, the length. L. Okay, now we have calculation. Now the torque, the turning effect of torque, which is um, clockwise direction. Okay, clockwise direction. The torque is um, F times B over 2 plus F times B over 2. Okay, as you know, two forces will. Uh, both of them would uh, create torque. Okay, so equal to FB. And then B equal to BIL. B, okay. So LB, LB, what does it mean? LB. Oh, you see, LB is the area of the coil. So we, we now have the equation. Uh, the torque equal to B I A. Okay, so yes, a torque B I A. We can increase the turning effect by increasing B I A. So, um, how about if we have n turns, n number of turns of coil? What is the total torque? N or Hune, Yako Hun, the B, B, I, A, N or Hune? Yes, times N, okay, very easy. So we get the result B, I, uh, uh, sorry, N, B, A, I. Okay, this is the result. Tor equal to N, B, A, I. Very easy to memorize. This is not given, not given. You can derive by yourself, not your B, N, B, A, I. Okay. So now we have a condition to create a strong motor. Okay. So try chapel next. Try the top for, for the top. Okay, three questions. Okay, tell me if you have any problem. Oh without. Okay. Now we want to use we will go to the last part. We want to um, make a motor. Okay. Can it be a motor? So, yes, turning effect, right? We have magnetic field, we have current, so we can find force. Force, then we have turning effect. Okay, but this is not a successful motor. Do you know why? Now maybe we can enjoy it. So the cases. Okay, now like case one, uh, current here, and what is our paper? And uh, is uh, into paper. Okay, B feel um, from north to south. So the magnetic force would be this part upward, this part downward. Okay, this is case one. Okay, so now you will tell you now, but we want to check whether it can be successful to 
to rotate continuously. Okay, how about this case? Okay, the same case, right? So B field, the magnetic force would be uh, unchanged. But you can see the turning effect is smaller because uh, force is no longer perpendicular to the coil. Okay, perpendicular. Here is not perpendicular. We have to resolve component. So uh, two, less torque, but it can rotate. Okay, case three, what do you think? Vertical, the coil is vertical. Do you think it has turning effect? Okay, in the presence of B field and uh, to the right, here yeah, to the right. Do you think? Answer, or force upward, force downward. Okay, so no turning effect at this moment. But due to inertia, we can, uh, uh, the coil is still rotating. Okay, now we go to step four. Now, this four part, maybe you, you need to draw it uh, on your textbook. Okay, try to do it by yourself. Okay, the first part, oh, sorry. Okay, current, our oh, paper. Current into paper. B field unchanged, which is to the right hand side. So, what do you think? Mm. So, the force here, upward, okay, downward. So you would rotate in acting clockwise direction. Jun fan jun tao. Oh, where is that? Okay, now due to friction, the coil rotate. Now maybe underline the textbook. The coil rotate a few times and come to rest along the vertical. Okay, so the coil cannot rotate continuously. So this is not a successful motor. Okay, ma jun na jun na ting yo la, wei lei friction de yuan gu la. 中間我會停了,即是keep住三,即是最後停了狀況是三, step three. Okay? Now you, may, you, you should have a try, join by yourself, practice more about the Fleming's left hand rule. Motor, so, now we want to study the search of a simple DC motor. So we can make a motor by using some device, some special component. Okay, here is com a commutator. Commutator can have any name, a uh, half wing. Lang upon one, a galling only loud ego up. Hello, lang upon one, the manga, lang upon one. And also, we have a uh, common bush. Now, uh, we have to memorize to the functions of, of the, these two components. For com commutator, it has a function that it can change. You need to drop it down in your textbook. Change the direction of, uh, yeah, of current passing through, I uh, passing through the coil. Every half turn of coil. 每轉半個圈呢,個電流方向呢會轉,會改變啊. Okay. Drop it up in your textbook. Also, carbon bush. 因為轉緊嘅時候機會甩咗條電線啊。所以我哋要加強接觸, enhance contact. Okay, come on, Bush. Place a simple motor between two opposite pole magnets. Switch on the power. 
Observe the motion of the simple motor. Okay, uh, so we go back here. Okay, 點解會成功咧？嘗試試下畫出嚟啦，好難畫啦都。嗱、uh, ，suppose we flop pose self pose here. Okay. Coil, and we have a uh, commutator. Commutator, split wing. 斷開咗個環係咪？我哋 half wing 都得。Okay, I label in two different colors. Okay, and then we have a battery. A carbon bush. Okay, for God, carbon bush. 咁點住啦佢？ So, draw the current, right? Current. Uh, you know, B field is to the right hand side. So, using fan means left hand wall. Okay, so direction of force should be for the left wire, it should be downward, right? 好啦，咁啊隻眼望嘅時候咧，隻眼呢度望啦，就會望到咧，呢個力啊向下，呢個力啊向上啦。Because you know a current of into paper。OK。B field to the right hand side, right? Any problem? 嗱 ，so you you will rotate. Anti-cross direction, okay. 好啦，轉咯喎。咁如果轉到中間咧，佢半環啦。轉到中間冇電流過噶。轉到中間，轉到中間咧就會誒個圖咁樣樣啦。係咪啱啱冇電流過啊？冇電流過咁點啊？冇電流過，但係佢有慣性啊嘛，佢都會繼續揈過去嘅個線圈 inertia。OK， 我哋考慮埋最後嗰個 case 啊，就係佢轉到過去可唔可以再繼續順利咁轉咧 ？OK， 嗱 ，clockwise direction。So that means the wireless part would go to the net。好啦，轉到過去即係呢度咁樣咯喎。Battery, okay. And the wire, low pole, south pole. Step one, step two, step three. 我翻區域先啊，費事你亂啦。Okay. Step three, what do you think? First step. Direction of current, okay. Show the direction of current. Okay, so we can draw the coil here uh, into paper current here our paper. B field to the B field to the right. Okay, so what is direction of magnetic force? 咁咪試下自己畫咯喎，你齋睇咧啊明喎，齋睇明。自己做唔識係嘛？因為畫得少啊，咁啊熟能生巧，自己畫下先。好啦 ，so FBI， so what do you think？ 嗱 ，we find the force， and then the torque， it will rotate in anti-clockwise direction。Again， OK？ 點解咁神奇嘅？好似染萬法咁喎，好似唔知講乜咁喎，染萬法喎。係啦，咁啊望多一次啊。誒、呃，藍色嗰 part。本來個電流係 into paper 嘅 ，step one 係咪啊？如果我轉揈咗去另一邊嘅時候，嗱中間就冇 current 噶啦，中間冇 current 咧就冇力噶啦。但係因為有 inertia 咧，咁我佢會繼續轉啦。好揈咗過去啦，藍色個 part 而家揈到係右邊。你有冇發覺佢接觸個 carbon bus 唔同咗啦？佢掂住右邊嗰、那個，咁所以個電流會變咗 out of paper。咁你攞你嘅 fan wing slash fan wing 出嚟，左手。
，如果我個電流轉咗方向，個 B feel 冇轉，咁我力會點啊？就絕喐下隻手，咁我力會向下係咪？又向上面咗向下，係咪啊？如果我冇轉咗電流方向嘅話，好啦，咁所以咧條電線咧，本來個力咧係由向下咧都會變成向上啦，近唔近 pair 到啊？好啦，咁啊～你畫出，你畫一次出嚟就會 compare 到噶啦，係啦。如果你睇得明，都希望你自己試下畫。OK， 嗱 ，we go further。The last part。So we know 誒、uh, how DC work， how DC motor work。The last part is the practical motors。So DC motor and practical motors。嗱 ，for the practical motors， we have some 誒誒誒 modification， so that you can rotate smoothly， strong get hot， OK， and we have several coils set at different angles。Do you know why？ Because you know， as I have mentioned before， compare case one case two， case one the torque is F D， OK。誒、uh, 啊 ，sorry， F B over two， we use B， OK， a small B。I I have taught this before here。OK， top F B， OK， top。Yeah， F B。How about second case？ With angle theta， so the top will be equal to F。Perpendicular B, that would be equal to F cosine theta B. Okay, so if the coil is is rotating, if it is at different angle, apart from horizontal, it has a less torque compared to the vertical horizontal one. Less torque because we have to we solve component. Okay, compare these two. We have to resolve component, so the top will be smaller. So this is not a good motor if it has different top, if the coil is at different angles. So how to solve this? That is, we will set several coils at different angles. 即係你橋唔同角度都有線圈啦。Okay, not only this part, but this part. Okay, but this part, but that part. Okay. So you you have a uniform torque, and the second we use curved magnet. Curved magnet. Now you should underline curved magnet. Curved magnet for curved magnet, the you see here, the B field will will have this this direction, right? So the B field would the curve would be a Parallel to the B field, so the turning effect is enhanced. 咁即係點啊？即係可能呢一度個 B field 呢度咁樣啦，咁樣正對埋去啦。你轉唔同角度嘅時候，嗰個力咧都會係一樣啦，係咪啊？即係如果我呢個 n 呢個 s 咁啊咁樣嘅有個力咁樣嘅，係咪？因為個個 B field 咁樣正對埋佢噶嘛，係咪 ？Parallel 個線圈噶。咁如果我 curve 咩力咧，都係 pair 流線圈咧，咁啊確保個力咧，個力係咩啊？個力係 F B I L 嘛，啊唔係，個力係 B I L 嘛，係咪？確保個力咧一樣，因為個 B feel 唔使拆近波輪啦，係咪啊？佢係九十度，即係佢係平衡於嗰個線圈啊呢一度。OK， 嗱 ，so you can have a larger turning effect because you know the torque is M B A I。Okay, with this setting, we can has have a um stronger turning effect and smooth one now. Smooth winding, okay, smoother winding, greater turning effect. Okay, two point here, one, two. So please memorize. The practical motor, we have some modification compared to the simple DC motor. 
DEC but we use AEC at our home how can we use electromagnetic can we use electromagnetic tianjun tianjun electromagnetic like wall electric drill electric drill actually is AEC right we use um we 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 use uh, at home household circuit right is AC. Nim shun ah. Um gan yeo. Um got din chi ti yung. Hoi yung AC a jo ta lo. Um um sang yung yung chi set yung yung AC la. So we have AC motor. How go gay chi la? Um hoi si. Um dim jo ah. Um ho gan dan ye. Um yung chi set la. We use electromagnet. You can do a lot of things. You can do it. You don't want to do it. What time is it? Okay. Let's go to the circuit. Let's go to the two circuits. You can go to the circuit. 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 You can see it's very nice, it's not easy, it's just a lot of time, it's just a lot of time. This is AC motor. Okay, AC motor. We use side wave to replace AC. Okay? Now you will work. How does it work? You can see that this is a wire, you don't need to use the wire, you don't need to use the wire. Okay, so if you have a wire, you can see this wire. Okay, current here. Okay, now we have current. So what happened? So we know this is south pole, this is north pole, okay? So it will rotate, the curve will rotate. What is the direction of rotation? Here, upward, right? Here, downward. Fan means that fan move. Like, don't use your hand, how to open it. Okay, if AC is now a second screen, the first screen is going to turn. It's going to turn on. If the current is passing through from the right hand side, Start from right hand side. Okay, now so everything, the direction would, of current would reverse, reverse. Hola, 紫色啦，而家睇，系嘛？睇完蓝色啦，头先睇紫色啦，紫色咁点睇啊？个力有冇变啊？你留意下个 B feel 有冇变？如果電轉咗電流方向咧，個 B feel 都會轉啊，係咪啊？即係呢個 N 呢個 S 啊，呢個 N 呢個 S 啊。好啦，咁呢個 AC motor 有咩特別啊？你見到轉電流方向嘅時候，同時哇好正啊，轉埋個 B feel， 係咪？咁所以個力係不變啦。嗱 ，maybe you can have a try。嗱 ，framing side frame move left hand。If you reverse the direction of your second finger and also first finger， so the force will keep unchanged。Okay, lah. So this is the working principle for AC motor. Okay, lah. You should know this. Eh, lah. So now maybe try triple nine and check the answer later. Okay. Okay, answer. Please ask me if and if you have any problem. Uh, now I will suggest you to try try uh, practice for point three. Maybe try some questions. Say uh, say question two. Question three. Question four. Question five. Question six. Question seven. Question nine. 
Okay. Oh, maybe maybe also question eight. Okay, twelve. Boy, okay, that's all. Now you may check the answer by yourself. Okay, you, you may pause the video to check. Uh, this is one to four. Question five. Uh, here you see we have twelve we solve component. Question six to seven. Oh, more clearly about question seven. Question seven. Okay, question eight. Nine. Ten. Um, question ten. And also, part C. Eleven. Twelve. Chef puppy. Okay, question thirteen. Uh, 